This is Elita Melamine in Mumbai, India. And right now we're going to do our daily Qigong to keep the energy flowing through the body because that's what it's all about. It's all about energy flow. Because if you got the energy flowing properly through the body, it builds better health. And as you mix other things with it, with the exercise, with the uh, living a stress-free life, little or no stress at all. And then last but not least, you start really being sensitive of what you're putting in your body because everything changes the frequency of the body. So therefore you got, you must hit that avenue. And we're creatures of habits. So therefore you can actually train the body when you start getting into cleaning the body out. You understand on a routine basis. So this isn't about fasting your way into breatharianism. You got a lot to work with dealing with your mental mind or how it's dealing with the communication and not what? Uh, what people around you and also the different forces around you because all of that is nourishing the body. So right now we're going to start out with our daily Qigong and we're going to work out stretching up the body, start out and because the more relaxed the body and the looser it is with less tension, the easier the energy automatically flows into the body. So right now we're going to start with the neck and slowly go to the right, make a nice full circle. Nice and relaxed, nice and slow. And the more you do these exercises, the different forms of meditation, your body will be able to hold more electricity. It's in the atmosphere that's coming up from the earth and also the cosmic forces that's constantly raining on, down on us. Your body's like a biocomputer or a bio machine, and it is actually interacting constantly with the atmosphere you live in on an energetic level. So right now we're stretching up the neck, the spinal cord, going towards the brain. All of this is a steady energy flow going through the body. We want to make it more flexible. Now, go the other direction, reverse it. Go at your own pace. In each move, just feel that tension loosen up more and more. And that's good. Now we're going to go towards the shoulders and make nice shoulder circles going towards the front, loosening up all the tension in the shoulders. Keep the body nice and relaxed. Breathe naturally and go at your own pace. The body knows how to work with the energy. All we got to do is relax and learn proper movement. The energy is already flowing inside of us. So each move, you loosen up more and more the tension and the stress is in the shoulders. Now go backwards. Slowly loosen up that stress and tension. And each move you make opens up better blood flow, Getting more oxygen into the body, you don't have to force it. Opening up the veins and the arteries. And that's good. Now we do one shoulder at a time going forward. Notice how my whole body is into it. Not just the shoulder, but the arms, the legs, the hips. Nice and relaxed. Feel how the body feels, feel the tension as you work on it daily. Now let's go backwards. Nice and relaxed, let's go with the flow. This is an awesome day, or anywhere you're at, even if it's nighttime, 
the energy is always high energy is always there it's up to us to become aware of the energy that's around you and going through you you can always utilize it both day and night and that's good now open up your feet shoulder width apart hands on your hip Slowly go clockwise, loosening up all that energy. Feel that tension loosen up in the hips, the lower back. This is a whole body movement. Lubricating the spinal cord. whole body is a system of energy. All we're doing is giving it a chance to heal itself with its own energy. Now let's reverse it, other direction. Go at your own pace, nice and relaxed. Your body feels nice and loose and relaxed. Slightly bend your knees. Keep your feet together. Rub your hands together. Hands on your knees. And then slowly rotate the knees clockwise. You're rotating the knees and also the hips. Nice and relaxed. Don't overdo it. Go at your own pace. These are real sensitive areas. reverse it other direction. Nice and relaxed. Now go forward, in and out going forward. Take your time, don't overdo it. Loosen up the knees and also the ankles because there's always energy coming from the ground, coming from the earth. This allows it to come up the body a lot more efficiently. Now go backwards. Don't overdo it, take your time. A lot of people do got lower back problems and knee problems. So you want to take care of yourself, don't overdo it. And that's good. Now my favorite exercise, one hand in the front, one in the back. And now we're going swimming in the ocean of energy. Moving the whole body. Not just the shoulders, also in the waist. Nice and loose. All this energy is all around us. We're in the ocean of energy. And you're swimming through it. Just breathe naturally, go with the flow. Go at your own pace, nice and relaxed. The more relaxed the body, the easier the energy flows. And that's good, now reverse it. You're lubricating the body. Got your blood circulation going, you're loosening everything up, getting it to move and helping it out. This works on your metabolism. It's doing a whole lot of things. Nice and relaxed, loosening up the body. All the organs are stretching. And that's good. Feel how your body feels. Now, take your hands, put them up under your belly button, 
the men right hand over the left, the women left hand over the right. I don't know if this camera is short right, but men right hand over the left, women right hand over the right, left hand over the right. Just relax. Feel how your body feels. Always feel your body structure, but just by having good body structure the best you can brings more energy to the body. Now slowly take your hands and make nice clockwise circles on the abdomen. Using your intent, moving the energy. You can either touch your uh, abdomen or you can come as close as possible, but wherever where the mind goes, the energy flows. Wherever the hands is going, the energy is flowing. You're moving energy with inside the body, with your mind. There's a lot of energy in this area. helps with your metabolism, constipation, stomach aches. You learn how to move this energy daily. Now, go the other direction, reverse it. Go at your own pace, nice and relaxed. When you start to free up the energy in the intestines, it will bring energy to other places in the body. It takes a lot of energy just to digest food. So first you at least want to go to the levels of eating less, mastering that, and then this energy could be fully used but eat nothing at all because it'd be, you didn't train the body where it could go to other places to feed the body. But all the body feeds off of is energy. That's why you eat, for energy. All right, now stop right where your belly button is at. Just hold that position, feel how your body feels. Now take your hands and slowly move it up the spinal cord, moving the energy through the body, going at your own pace. All the way up, using your antenna. Up there, your crown chakra, make a full circle. Slightly bend your knees and bring that energy on up the body, going at your own pace. This is a meditation. Get into the flow. There's energy all around us, going through us. Learn to become sensitive of what you're living in. and relax. Every cell in your body deals with electricity. And now with the new research now dealing with the melanin molecule, melanin goes through every cell in your body no, no matter who you are. And it's a good harvester of energy and it also can, takes light energy it converts it into chemical energy. This is the science that's out there now. You gotta get caught up. And as you come back around on the last one, make a nice ball in front of you with your hands. Feel that energy flow. You can make it big or small. Now just slowly move it from side to side. Feel that energy. And look how I'm, wherever the, your intent goes, the energy goes. So you got to focus. And notice how I'm moving my whole body. I'm just not moving my hands. I'm moving my torso, my hips. Even my feet is taking part in this. One movement moves the whole body. You're one 
total being. Becoming one with the atmosphere around you. You could go even slower. Feel that flow. Try to get sensitive to feel that electromagnetism coming off the body. Everybody has it. The more you work with the energy, the stronger your aura gets. Now you can move the hands any way you want to. Feel that flow, nice and relaxed, nice and loose. There's no right or wrong move. You can even move the feet any direction you want to. The more relaxed the body, the easier the energy flows. To loosen up the tension, moves more energy. Even when you step, focus on how you step. Keep your balance. Wherever you focus on the body, that's where the energy goes. So learn to focus on your whole movement to get your consciousness into your whole body. That's what we talk about, the mind-body connection. And there's a place in your body you cannot feel. That's where consciousness is not present or is really weak. You can even bend down into it. Any place that has aches and pains, just take your time and slowly allow the energy to work for you. Nice and relaxed. Any way you feel like moving. Always keep your balance, focus. Go with the flow. Even your face is moving, your hips is moving, your shoulders, your neck muscles. The consciousness is all around you, going through the body. From the earth up to the crown, from the crown down to the feet. One nice easy movement. Working with all of this power, this unlimited energy all around you. The body will only give you enough that you can handle. The more you work with the forces, the more the body can work, hold these forces, and let it pass through the body smoothly, giving you the energy you need. Come back, get you a nice position to start your Qigong. We're going to put our feet shoulder width apart, a little past the shoulders. Slightly bend your knees like you're sitting down on a windowsill. Make sure your spine is nice and straight. And take your hands like you're making a ball, but make it nice and loose. Because the more relaxed the body, the easier the energy flows. Put it right between, your, right from your belly button just relax into it. Don't even try to stretch. 
and let the energy do the work for you. We already did our stretches. Let it work naturally. Because energy is constantly moving inside of your body. If you're walking around alive, that's what's taking place. Relax the shoulders. Relax the chest. Relax the abdomen. Relax the hips. Relax the legs. Allow your feet to soak into the earth. Even if you're in a house or whatever floor you're on, your imagination is so powerful, your body don't knows the difference. You can think yourself to be anywhere. This is how you start commanding your energy, commanding your body. Any shaking or tension in the body, it's okay. Just relax even more. You just breathe naturally. You don't have to think about nothing specific. Just whatever, let go. Moment by moment, the body is constantly shifting, working with the external forces that surround us. You can't see them with the eyes, that's okay. The body knows how to work with it. This is a filling state. Slowly take the hands up near the shoulders like you're holding a giant beach ball. Look how my hands are nice and loose. Just relax into it. Make sure the knees are slightly bent, but don't overdo it. Do the best you can. Just relax. One more minute in this position. Just relax into it, allow the energy to work. Any sweating or itching, feel the tension in the body. Allow the energy to work for you. All energy runs a circuit. Slowly go to the prayer position, hands in front of the heart chakra, and just relax. Relax the shoulders. Relax the abdomen. Relax the hips. Just breathe naturally. Slowly bring the hands down to the side, palms facing the earth, and just relax. The 
Relax the shoulders. Relax the chest. Relax the abdomen. Relax the hips. Relax the legs. Any shaking in the hips or the legs, it's okay. Just let it take you. That's the energy and the forces passing through the body. Breaking up blockages. Slowly bring the hands all the way up. Make them wide. And just relax. This tension in the shoulders, just relax in turn and do the best you can. A lot of energy to work for you. Relax the muscles in your face. Relax the top of the head, the crown chakra. Relax the whole body. Allow your feet to soak into the earth. One more minute in this position. Feel the energy in the hands. Relax the shoulders some more. Relax the hips. Relax the whole body. Shift the weight to the right, right hand up to the sky, bring your left foot in as a balancer to balance your weight. Make sure your knees is bent and the left hand down to the earth and relax. It's a good thing if you're shaking and tension and sweating and itching and all this stuff. That's the energy in the body making new pathways. Shift the weight to the left. Get your left hand up to the sky. Bring your right foot in the balance of the body, your right hand down to the earth, and relax. Go back to your first position, feet past the shoulders, 
slightly bend the knees, and put the hands all the way up. Nice and wide, just like a big solar panel or an antenna, bringing in all that cosmic energy. Slowly come up on the knees, just stand properly. Bring the hands down, make a nice ball. All that energy you accumulated. Feel that energy. Make it big, try to feel that connection. Make it smaller. All this good, perfect energy. Nice and relaxed. Now, as you're making this ball in front of you, we're going to put our antenna aside. Put your family, friends, and loved ones inside the ball. Humanity and all safety of beings inside the ball. And on the count of three, we're going to lift it up to the universe. One, two, three. Slowly, 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 up, up, and away. Because if the energies around us is affecting us, we're also affecting the energies. Every time you change yourself, you change the universe. You change the energy around you. Now you can rub your hands together, all that energy we collected. Rub yourself down with a nice energy shower. Your skin is an organ. And there's energy coming all over, so you're using it now since the body collected it. And the more you do this exercise, the stronger and the better your body will get adapted to using this energy. This is what we mean by energy cultivation, allowing it to build. The more you stay consistent, the better results you'll have. And like we said, on this journey, don't even look about chasing the power. The power will chase you. So again, this is Ellie Tom Melamine. Keep up the good work. Once again, love you and have a nice day. Mr. Arabian Sea, look at that. High tide today. <laughs>